Welcome to Laravel Collections Guide. In this series, we take a look at each of the available methods in the Laravel Collections class and dive deep through examples in explaining what it does. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Concat. Concat is one of those examples that you're not going to use very often, but it does come in very handy. Another word that you can think of is push. This method will simply push any array passed into it to the end of the collection. Let me show you an example. All right. Let's have a data variable and then say collect and let's put in simply just value one as a string. Then we're going to return data concat and then pass in a second array with value two. Let's check out the results. And there you go. It's simply a new collection and it has the two values in it. I do want you to notice that this is returning a collection so we can daisy chain other methods right afterwards like first. Let's take a look at the results and of course we simply get the very first value. Now I want to modify this example one more time. Let's just say that I have a key of one. What will happen then? Well the keys simply get completely ignored. Concat does not account for any keys. Furthermore if we had another key here, let's say key two, Let's take a look at the results. So of course the collect method will take care of this key number two, but the concat will not. Notice here we have no key whatsoever, even though we are explicitly setting key one. 